and you do wish that you could control your tongue better. And perhaps you've even said, I need to follow the example of Jesus. Maybe, maybe following the example of Jesus in the sound on the mount, maybe that will do it. No, you need to understand that He's Savior first, and then He's example. And what you've seen in these other Christians who, as it were, in this message this evening, share the fact that they too struggle. They are not yet glorified saints in heaven. They too struggle, but you've seen language coming from their lips, had words of grace coming from their lips that you see nowhere else in the universe because there's something heavenly about it. And maybe as many do, you've tried to imitate it, and you've stumbled and fallen. You need to get it the right way around. You come to Him, first of all, conscious of the sins of your lips, and you say, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Thank you that the Lord Jesus, whose words were so full of grace, in order to take your judgment against my sin, was silent in order that He might bear the penalty of all my misuse of my tongue. And knowing that He has done that, you come to Him and you, you begin to say to Him, oh, for a thousand tongues to sing my great Redeemer's praise.